Okay, right, so now we're just going to do question 8, which is under calculus, right? Um, just so you know that this is uh, the past paper, June 2022 past paper. Um, if you need all questions under this past paper, I have uh, put the link in the description of this video, all of them, from question 1 all the way up to question 10, I think, if it ends at question 10. All the questions are in the description of this video. Uh, check them out. Anyways, um, let's solve this problem here. So 8.1, we are asked to find the derivative using first principles of this here, right? So how do you do it? So you have f of x is equal to minus x squared. Remember that the, the, the formula for the first principles is equal to the limit when, x, when h approaches 0, by the way. Um, of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, right? So now let's find f of x plus h, which is equal to, so where there's x, we put x plus h, right? So it's squared, which is equal to minus into x plus h, x plus h, right? So we're just going to put in this here. So this you're going to get, um, um, we're going to get minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared. So this is what you're going to get for f of x plus h, right? And then, um, so you substitute in this formula here, right? That I just indicated here. So let me just write everything down here properly so that we can clearly see. So now, um, the f of prime of x is equal to, as I said, it's the limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. It's equals to, so the limit when h approaches 0, so we're just going to write down this here, um, since it's our f of x plus h, so we're going to say um, minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared minus and then our f of x is given as minus x squared, minus x squared, all over h. And then if you take a look, uh, this is going to be positive, right? And this positive will subtract this, so they go away. And then you have the limit when h approaches 0 of minus 2xh minus h squared, all over h. Then factorize the h here. So you have the limit when h approaches 0 of h into minus 2x minus h all over h. This divide out. We have the limit uh, when h approaches 0 of minus 2x minus h, right? And then where there's h, you put 0, so it's minus 2x minus and then 0. So you're going to get an answer of minus 2x. So this is your first derivative of this problem here using first principles, right? So we are done with 8.1. Now let's go to 8.2. So 8.2, we are asked to find the derivative of this function here. As you see, it's f prime of x is, is what is required. And when we are given f of x is equal to 4x to the power 3 minus 5x to the power 2. So what I'm talking about is 8.2.1. Right, so we are asked to find the derivative. We have f of x is equal to 4x to the power of 3 minus 5x to the power of 2. So the derivative here is equal to, so we drop the 3, so the 4 remains x to the power of 3 minus 1 minus 5, we drop the 2, x to the power of 2 minus 1, right? So the derivative of this function here is 12x to the power of 2 minus 10x, right? So this is the first derivative of the function. So we're done. Now we go to the last question of this problem here, which we are given um, the following. So uh, 8.2.2, we are asked to derive this. That's why it's the um, subscript x, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to first say, okay, fine, minus 6 multiplied by, as you can see, we have the cube root of x, which you can write as x to the power of 1 over 3, right? Um, so it's going to be x to the power of 1 over 3, and then plus 2 all over x to the power of 4, and everything else is at the x like this, right? 
And then please note, um, we can separate this, right? So we can separate it in minus 6x to the power of 1 over 3 all over x to the power of 4 plus 2 all over x to the power of 4, right? Um, let me say this is equal to y. And then now um, let's first deal with this, right, and simplify it. So we have y is equals to, um, if you simplify it, you will get minus 6x to the power of um minus 11 over 3 plus 2 and then I take this x to the power of 4 upwards I have x to the power of minus 4 like this right and then now I can derive this right so it's y prime is equals to I'm um, going to drop the minus 11 over 3 minus 11 over 3 um, minus 6 so it's multiplying that x to the power of minus 11 over 3 minus 1 and then um, we drop the 4, this one here, so it's minus 4 into 2x to the power of minus 4 minus 1, right? So the first derivative or the derivative of this should give you 22x to the power of minus 14 over 3 um, minus 8x to the power of minus 5. So remember, you write your exponents in positive form, so it's 22 over x to the power of 14 over 3 minus 8 over x to the power of 5. So this is the answer for 8.2.2. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you struggled with any of these questions that I did here, please let me know in the comment section below. And remember that um, this video consists of all the questions for this past paper, which is the June 2022 past paper. Um, it has all the questions from question 1 up until the last question, question 10, right? So you can check the description of this video to access all those videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, see you in the next video.